I'm here with Courtney Ehrlichman of Robotics. She just came in second place in the Civic Tech Competition. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what you uh, presented in there and how it went. Um, let's talk a little bit about what Robotics does to start off. Well, basically, we use a cheap sensor on your smartphone, record video, and analyze the road surfaces. We can see road cracks, potholes, stop signs, poles, anything that you can see out of a windshield. And we create a dashboard for road managers so they can actually be proactive about managing their streets. And, and what cities are you starting to pilot this in and, and, and try and roll it out in? Well, we piloted in the city of Pittsburgh. We're wor working with Detroit. We're talking to Atlanta. We've been piloting in Contra Costa County. We're also talking to um, Buffalo County up in New York. We're also piloting in Norway. Very cool. And uh, how, so far, what's been the reaction and the feedback that you've received from the folks you're piloting with? They're very excited. They're, they think it's way past time that some technology like this has gotten into their, um, their processes. What we're doing is essentially giving people information that they otherwise don't have, and we're completely disrupting how you can take care of your roads. We're allowing for people to preserve their roads rather than having to re remill and resurface all the time. I like to compare it to filling a cavity rather than getting a root canal. <laughs> and so along the way, who, who do you see in the end, if in your ideal state, who has robotics? Does everybody have robotics in their car? Uh, concerned citizens, or is it something more that you see being a city function? I do think that initially as we roll out and uh, society catches up, that will be people um, in their cars. The city function can use um, their department of public works vehicles, or we can have fleets. So we're working with very large fleets to actually mount our cameras in their windshields. So however we collect the data, we're sort of agnostic to that. We can incentivize people to put it in their cars, like a citizen like you or I. Um, but ultimately, I'd like to see this be put in the actual manufacture of the vehicles. Now you mentioned also that this might have other applications like uh, uh, assessing inventory of road signs after an emergency like a hurricane or something like that. What are some of the uh, ideas that have come up or have come your way that you've said, oh, I haven't even thought about that yet? Or uh, issues that might be an opportunity just to, for cities along the way? Well, it, actually it's very interesting. What I've heard is, just to speak about the stop signs, a lot of cities don't know where their assets are. They don't know where their stop signs are. That's a huge safety liability. You have to know where your stop signs are. So just doing a baseline inventory is critical. One of the most surprising things I heard when talking to an, an investor was being able to check signage. Like think about billboards or actually um, fast food joints. Do they actually have what they said they were going to put up on their sign? There. Another thing I've heard, from engineering firms is how do you actually check that the work has been done? Rather than sending a crew out there, you can actually have someone remotely send you that information. Very cool. So what, what have you been most excited about outside of robotics to hear about here at South By? Are you, are you having fun? Have you run into something and said, oh, that, that's amazing, or gotten excited about something here? Well, so personally, I'm really interested in technology transforming the transportation world, so I've been following the Smart Cities track, and I've been really excited to hear about how large the impact of the Smart City Challenge was on just um, company, private companies, the mayors that are here, and even the citizens. I run into a lot of people who are saying, wow, we have a plan now, and so everyone's sort of on board thinking about this, so I'm really excited about that. All right, well, thanks for joining us Thank today, you. and congratulations on the second place finish. Right. Thank you. Thank you for having me.